Good morning, YouTube friends. It's Dale from Erndale's. I thought I would just turn the camera on while I'm mucking about with this starching. I have been, I actually just did a, a video for, um, for a upcoming Advent blog because I just had to, I had the supplies and everything here. So I was, I thought I would shoot the video, but I right now am just going to be starching out a few pieces and I thought I would just turn the camera on and show you how I go about this. So these are all crocheted. These, what I have right now are crocheted snowflakes. And um, I have some snowflakes and I have a couple of angels that I want to starch out. And it's, it's a very simple process. It's not difficult. You can use, um, this one isn't tied. You can use white glue diluted with water um, just to uh, maybe so it's kind of runny like milk. You know, if you can get it that consistency, that's just perfect. I also usually use Stiffy. I'm not promoting them or anything, but this is what I use. It's uh, you can. It's a fabric stiffener. And it's water-based, so it washes up really well. But white glue and water works just as well. Um, you know, sometimes it's hard to find some of these other things. I actually get this at Walmart, or I was getting it at Walmart. I haven't bought any for a long time because when I run out, I tend to get just go with the white glue thing. So what I'm doing is just cutting off all my ends and putting all my pieces in my starch here, which is, this is white glue and water that I have diluted. And I'm just going to let that get all in the fiber. And then I have some few angels. These are going to be converted into bookmarks. So you can do a lot with these kind of things. This is just, um, I might have even got this pattern of this angel online. It's just a flat. You can use it for applique on something. Uh, you could starch it out, hang it on your tree. You can turn it into a bookmark. You can do a lot of things with just a flat angel like this. And I, I actually like to make these... Um, these are still left over from last year. I made, I don't know, 30, 40 of these and I starched them and I gave them to the residents of the nursing home at Christmas time. I do a lot of volunteer work at our nursing home here um, and I do music therapy there and um, I, I've i grown very attached to the residents there, I've known them for a long time and they absolutely love these angels. You would have thought I gave them just the best gift ever. So, you know, a little something like that to a shut-in or something. It means a lot to them. They they really, really love it. And it's taken basically no time to crochet it. It's such a small piece. It takes a little bit of time to starch it out. But, um, you know, the end result is somebody's very happy with what you've made. And you've taken a little bit of your day just to make somebody's day. So this little angel, I'm just going to make sure that it's all wet. Not not totally saturated. You don't want it dripping. You want it, all the fiber to have stuff on it, but you don't want it to be, you know, dripping like my hands are. So then I'm going to put it on this board, which has been covered with some saran wrap or cling wrap or whatever kind of wrap you want to call it. And I didn't bring my right pins. I'm going to pin them right in the middle. This is an old macrame board. Now, if this was a bigger angel, I would pin all of these. But you really don't need to with this because it, it's, it's, come down, it's come out really nice just by using your fingers. What you want to do is see all the little loops. And I'll put one over here so that you'll see it better. I hope you'll 
you'll see it better. This uh, white glue and water or stiffy dries clear, so you will not see anything after it's dried. You want to make sure all your little loops at the bottom are visible. I'm going to put a pin right in the middle, and then I'm just going to pull that little angel all out. So you can see all the, the loops. I would put a little something at its neck. down. You can put these in a card, Christmas card, to somebody. So they get a card and they get something that they can hang in on their tree or on a mirror, in a window. Just a little something. So there's three angels. Now I have some snowflakes. Snowflakes are a little bit more fussy. You do want to pin out all the points on them. And I do like to make sure I got the right side up, which is that side, and I'd need more pins. So on a snowflake, this is why I like this macrame board, because it has lines in it. So I would pin one point on a line. And then the opposite point on the same line, but further down. Give it a good pull so that you've got it stretched. Now you're going to go this way. So now you're going to do the two opposite in the middle. Pull that one out there. And you're gonna pull that one out there. And now you've got four more pulls to do. I have to get more pins. So we'll go here like that. And always do opposites that way you can keep it nice and even. You might have to even it out after you get it pinned, but that's okay. This board is actually quite hard. Okay, so I can see right away where I need to pull it. <laughs> that one's going to stay in for some reason. Whoops, this board is very hard to pin into. I have another one that's more porous. I should do it on there. There. 
a snowflake. How pretty is that? I don't know if you can see this even. Let's move it up. Maybe you can see that a little bit better now. There's the snowflake right here. Of course, I have so much gunk on there that... Oh, I have another little one on. Maybe can get that one over here. Or I'll put it here. It's a very small little small snowflake. Done in... Um, I think this is a size 20 thread. So it's quite a bit thinner than um, these pieces over here. And I'll do that one right there. Uh, this, this thread is quite a bit thinner than regular bedside crochet cotton. I'm going to just stick my pin in that first loop. This is a five star one so the bottom is going to be that one there. A five point, not five star. Now these two are going to go straight up here. You have to make sure that they're they're flat. They're not twisted in any way. Pulling my pieces out. Okay, I want to bring these down. They're, they need to go like that. I need to wet my hands. I'm sticking. That's why I wear an old. Um, an old, what do you call it, apron, because most of the times I just wipe my hands on my apron and not on anything else. So this one has a little tree caught, so you want to pull each one of those loops out, or tree coal, I don't know, how do you say it, tree coal? And of course that one's twisted. This is very fiddly. Extremely fiddly. That one does not want to cooperate with me at all. Okay. And what else have I got in here? Another one.
actually I need to get different pins. So that's what I'm doing today. I have um, still a little angel like this, which is a dimensional angel. I have to starch her. And I have a couple of these. Actually, I could probably do these ones right now. I got enough room on my board here. This also was crochets from some vintage crochet cotton that I got. I have a lot of vintage crochet cotton. Um, it's it's actually I really actually like it. The white is not as white as the stuff you buy now. It's it's such a pretty. I don't know. It's not cream. It's white, but it's not as white. And I do like it. It's more Victorian as far as I'm concerned. This little angel, this is just a flat angel, done in one piece. I think she's adorable. And she will make a great bookmark or an ornament for hanging on the tree or hanging on a window or a mirror. I've even seen people put them on their mirrors in their car. That's a little Christmas decoration in your car. I'm not even going to pin her out. I'm just going to leave her just like this. I'm just going to stretch out her wings so that you can see the detail. Same with her skirt. But she, this kind of cotton doesn't spring back as much as the newer stuff. So she's actually quite nice just the way she is. And I'm going to do this one as well. This one is a little bit more solid. See the difference in the color? I don't know if you can see it. not white like like this see how different it is it's quite a bit different I'm just gonna put sticky right on her And what I should tell you is that this is permanent stiffer. This will not wash out once it's dried. It's in there forever. And it will not yellow with age as well. So, you know, if you're giving a piece to somebody and you think that if it falls in the bathtub, it's going to it's gonna lose its shape, it won't. Although I don't know why it would be in the bathtub, but you know what I mean. one isn't quite as refined as that one is. I like that one better. But when you decorate her up a little bit, she will be just as pretty. So that's what I'm up to today. I hope everybody's having a good day and I hope everybody's staying well and keeping your hands busy so that your mind is at ease. I'm going to continue on. I have to get another board for the rest of these projects. And uh, I'll catch up with you sometime later. Bye for now.